previously on Star Trek's Empire. I need you to go to the Gamma Quadrant and recover data from a ship we lost on a planet. One quarter impulse thruster, now. This is just a transfer for the Doctor and myself. Once we get to DS9, this ship will be all yours. Hold on, we are being pulled in. Help, take her in. Take her in. Full thrusters. What is this? We are in a Borg transwarp conduit. We are located on the outer edge of the Gamma Quadrant. Readings from conduit show it has a phase variance. That means it was a one-way trip. Drop the cloak. Power to the disruptors now. From the last report I got, it would appear we are not the first Klingons at this trading post. Is the general you mentioned before, is that who was in charge of this fleet? Yes, General Zar. He has been marked as a traitor by the Council. He must be from the battle that destroyed the other ships. Dominion, Cardassian, and the Borg. What is the status of our cargo ship? All cargo has been loaded. I've met with the Nariis. They are a warrior race, but have stated they are willing to trade with us for need supplies. Ship signature is from the Delta Quadrant. Approaching the conduit aperture, my lady. 300 kilograms and closing. Once we deploy the probe, we will be able to monitor this sector. 200 kilograms to target area. Probe is ready for deployment. Adjust speed to one quarter thrusters. I, Captain. Speed at one quarter thrusters. 100 kilograms, ready for probe deployment. Launch the probe. Yes, my lady. Probe launched. Activate the probe. Probe activated. It is now transmitting on both the Klingon and Federation frequencies. Confirmed, my lady. Probe is transmitting on the lower bands. Very well. Plot to course back to Bourbonite 1. Full thrusters. Course led in. Full thrusters, I captain. Contact, bearing 250 Mark 3. Identify. Contact confirmed. Metallic sphere coming through the conduit aperture. Sensors identify it as a Borg scout ship mile AD. Sensors confirmed. Ship's heading is on course for the next system. Take us out course 250 Mark 3 and follow that ship. I captain.
Sensors detecting power buildup. Ship has gone to warp, Captain. Borg ship now at warp 1. Now is a good time to see if Renus got our warp drive working. Prepare for warp drive. Warp core is online. Ready for warp drive. Confirmed. All systems are online. Ready for warp drive, my lady. Warp 1, now. Your heart, this is Bakshi. Commander, report. Captain, the warp core is online. And we just got impulse power working again. Rianas has been helping in engineering. Very well. I'll go to engineering when I'm done here talking with Claw. Understood. Bakshi, out. Claw? I was told I would find you here. What are you doing? Captain, it's good to see you again. Yes, I was reviewing the memory files from this ship. Was this ship part of General Zar's fleet? Yes, this is the sister ship to the one I had. It appears it put up a great battle. So what brings you here, Captain? I have been contacted by the people at Bourbonite 1. They have asked that we abide by the treaties they have, and that we leave orbit. If we want to continue staying in this area, we will be bound by the treaties, if we wish to trade with them. These treaties, they allow for other ships to fire at us? No, this is a neutral zone to those part of the trading treaty. Very well. I'll let you handle the diplomatic events, while I take care of moving this ship. Have you decided what to do with this? I'm going to hard land it on Bourbonite 2. The binary planet's gravity should cause enough disturbance to mask its location. This ship is loaded with parts we may need in the future. Do you think that General Zara will come looking for this ship? Another adversary in this quadrant is something we don't need. He would have claimed this one if he needed it. After seeing the wreckage of the fleet, if he did survive, he only has a handful of warriors with him. Very well. I need to go back and check on engineering. I will see you, when you get back. Excellent. I will talk with you then. Yes. Speak. My lord. I think there is something you might want to see. I'm down here on the planet. Very well, I'll be down, when I am finished here. Claw out. Your heart, this is the captain. One to beam over. Yes, captain. One to beam over. Stand by. Welcome aboard, captain. I mean, sir. Ensign, I know regulations state for sir to be used, but captain's prerogative can be implemented as well. So, Captain Oman will do just fine. What is your name, Ensign? Ensign Davis, Captain. I've been assigned to the transporter operations. I am sure you will do a fine job. Were you originally assigned to this ship? Yes, I was posted to be in engineering. But with circumstances the way they are now, I was told I was needed here, because I had extensive background in teleportation. We are lucky to have someone with your experience manning this station. Captain. I have been assigned to beam down and get the shuttle on Bourbonite 1. Lieutenant, what is your name? Weren't you in the shuttle we rescued? Chlorophyllia, Captain. Yes, I was stationed at Deep Space 9 before we were pulled into that conduit. Permission to leave the ship, Captain. Yes, permission granted. The shuttle is located in a clearing outside the trading post. Please be careful to follow protocol. Understood, Captain. Ready to beam down one. I'm ready. Energizing.
There seems to be a slight variance in the buffer. I'll get that adjusted. Sounds like officer thinking. Captain, I won't let you down. I'm sure you won't. I need to get to engineering. I don't want to keep you from your work, Lieutenant. Captain, over here. Score, report. Why have you called me down here? My lord. There is something you need to come and look at. I wanted to check with you before doing anything. I knew you would be interested in this. It appears General Zhao has been here. Interesting. Is it operational? No. It's Power Cell is MP. Very well, we'll need to be us aboard. When Renus is finished with Baxia's ship, she can then see if we can power this up. Tell no one of this for now. It appears we have someone from Baxia's ship. I don't want her to know about the android right now. Beam it up with you to the desire. I'll take care of this. Yes my lord. I'll place it in the cargo hold. I'll be up shortly. Speak. Are you here to bring the shuttle back to the ship? Yes, the captain sent me down here. But I didn't expect to find you here. We were here to guard the shuttle, if it's any concern of yours. I find that very hard to believe, since you two were overlooking at the bushes. Well if you must know, I wanted to send back she a plant for her ready room. You want me to believe you were getting the captain a plant? Believe what you want. I was going to place it inside the shuttle. Now that you're here, I'll let you do it. I have no intention on bringing that plant to her ready room. That's fine you what you want. It was a stupid gesture in a way. I'll let you get on with your orders. Ah. I think he was serious. I guess it wouldn't hurt to bring it back. The captain's ready room could use some decoration. That should keep her mind off of what we were doing. Desire, this is Claw. Ready to beam up. Yes my lord. One to beam up. Jerding. Captain. How's the work proceeding on the warp core? The work is almost finished. We have impulse and warp drive. The main problem has been the hybrid Klingon circuitry. I don't understand. What hybrid circuits are you talking about? Renus has been helping us. But we should have the cloaking device online soon. I don't think I understand. Who authorized adding a cloaking device? Your first officer gave us the go-ahead. It was one that Claude got from the wreckage. This is a direct violation of our treaty with the Romulans, as well as with your people. Having a Federation cloaked ship might invite more problems. But Captain, we are no longer in the quadrants where those treaties were signed. And Captain, your ship could use every advantage we can give it. This is a slippery slope if we continue. There are treaty considerations that we need to be aware of. I'm sure Commander Jackson was thinking of our defense in the Gamma Quadrant. I will talk with Jackson. In the meantime, disconnect the cloaking device from our systems. Now Jaina, that will take some time. Are you sure? Renas, follow my orders. Yes, my lady. 
we will need to take the impulse engines offline in order to disconnect the device. It will take some time. Very well. Proceed immediately. We have some time before we need to leave orbit from Berber Night One. Commander Jackson, please meet me in my ready room. Bakshi, out. Helm, report. The battle cruiser is ready for departure. All cargo aboard it is now secured for the hard landing on Berber Night 2. All systems are ready. Warp core and thrusters are online. Lay in a course to Berber Night 2. Course setting to 187 Mark 2. Thrusters are ready, Captain. Half thrust is 187 Mark 2. Now. Half thrusters, I. Signal the other ship to get underway. Yes, my lord. Contacting them now. Course coordinates transmitted for 187 Mark II. All sensors are clear. Long range scanners show no other ships in this area. We'll place the ship between the planets. The gravity fields of them will make it difficult for others to get to it once it's down there. Sensors have detected a high concentration of the gravity fields in those areas. The high disturbances will hide the ship from others. We'll need to reinforce the shields aboard that ship. I don't want to lose the cargo aboard it. 800 kilocams to Bourbonite 2 my lord. Put them on the main viewer. My lord. Sensors are clear, but I'm showing a variance in the upper E-band. Confirmed. Subspace variance detected. But the sensors are not showing anything. Is it a cloaked ship? Search for G-type. Captain, there it is. Increase magnification. Signal the other ship to stay here. Take us in one quarter thrusters. Stations ready. I Captain. Contacting the ship. One quarter thrusters, Captain. Stations ready. Weapons systems are online. Ready to drop wings. 500 kilocams to target in closing. Object appears to be a base station. Its systems appear to be offline. 400 kilocams in closing. Bring her in easy. 300 kilocams, mark. Prepare docking clamps. 200 color camps. Docking clamps online. One hundred color camps. Contact. All stop. After we check out the station, we let Bakshi know we have a new home. Commander, what is this plant doing in my ready room? The plant is from Claw. I wasn't sure where you wanted it. That's fine. Please come to my ready room so we can discuss our retrofit and personnel assignments. Yes, Captain. Computer. Cappuccino. Mocha. Hot. Yes, enter. Captain, you wanted to see me. Yes, did you want something to drink? No, thank you. I'm all set. Then have a seat Michelle. I'd like to talk about the engineering upgrades. Yes Captain. I believe they will be finished soon. We have both warp and impulse engines online. 
I'd like to talk about those other upgrades, Commander. I don't think having the cloaking device connected to our systems is a wise choice. After discussing it with Renus, it seemed like it would give us more defense in the squadron. We are bound by two different treaties that specify for Federation ships not to use cloaking devices. With respect, Captain, those treaties were not meant for us here in the Gamma Quadrant. I understand why you thought it would be in our interest. But I must decline the upgrade. I have informed Jordan to disconnect the device. Understood, Captain. I didn't mean to go against your wishes. Had I known how you felt. Michelle, I know we haven't had a lot of time for us to get to know each other. But we must follow the directives of the Federation while we are out here. It will take time to disconnect the cloaking device. The impulse engines will have to be taken offline. Nishal, I know this was supposed to be your command and your ship. Once we get back I'll be very happy to hand this back over to you. Captain, I have no regrets. Together we will get our crew back home. I'm glad you feel that way. Now maybe we should talk about crew assignments. With the limited crew we have, we will need to assign some members to areas they are not used to. Red alert. Battle stations. Captain and first officer to the bridge. Bridge, this is the captain. We are on our way. Helm, impulse power. Set a course away from that ship. Impulse power not responding. We only have war. Sensors have detected a class 1 ship heading this way, captain. Identify that ship. Increase power to the main deflector. Yes, captain. It's a Cardassian battle cruiser. It appears to be a Galore class battleship. Captain, it has an Obsidian Order marker. Turn off the alarm. Give me options. Tactical. That ship outguns us. We are no match for a firefight. Helm. A short warp burst would take us away from the ship. Our current course setting would bring us to Bourbonite 2. Collision with Claw's ship or the planet is probable. Captain, we could cloak the ship. Bridge to engineering. Renus. Is the cloak still connected? Yes, my lady, but it's not fully installed. You'll only have it for a very short time. The maneuvering thrusters will also come back online during the time. We will be in sensor range in 20 seconds, Captain. Lead the battleship away from this area? That's what I'm counting on. Give Claw time to prepare. Drop sensors. Helm, be ready to set a course 3, 5, 8, Mark 4 at my command. Yes, Captain. Course laid in. Renas, cloak the ship. Helm, course change, now. Course set. We're losing the cloak. Warp 1. Mark. Board scout ship now dropping out of warp, my lady. Drop to thrusters. Keep a lock on that ship. Full thrusters engaged. Borg scout ship now on a heading of 3, 5, 8, mark 2. Sensors confirmed. Now picking up warp signatures of partial scout ships in that area. Partial ships. Increase scans for abnormal subspace variances. Scanning. No bio ships in the area, my lady. The ships appear that they are being disassembled. By the Borg. What? Disassembled. On screen now. The Borg are building a cube. Confirmed. Board cube is now operational. Evasive action, plot to course out of here. Energy readings from Borg cube show it will be warp capable at any time. Course set. Warp core is now online. Warp 1, now. 